Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and I'm super excited for today's question because even though a lot of students are intimidated by these type of problems because they don't understand them, this is actually an easy algebra problem. So let's look. Uh, the question says, what is the equation of the line pictured below in slope intercept form? So they're asking me to write an equation of a line in slope intercept form. Take a look at your GED formula sheet if you've never done this before. And if you don't have a GED formula sheet, my goodness, what are you waiting for? This is your best friend. Use it. Um, but on the GED formula sheet, under the algebra heading, I think the second formula down, it tells you the equation of a line in slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. And if that looks like a lot of nonsense in letters to you, let me tell you what this means. This means here that if you have an equation where you have a y equal to some number, the m should be a number of x's, plus some number, that equation will have many, many solutions. Put all those same solutions together and it will draw a line. So how do you go from this generic formula into a particular line? Well, you just replace the m and the b with values. What values? Well, m is the slope. So look at your graph, find the slope, that'll be your m, and b is the y-intercept. So take a look at these selections I have right here. You know, I have, um, I like to look at the b first. The b is the number adding or subtracting uh, with x. So I see these ones have a b of negative 1, and these have a b of uh, 2 thirds or 3 halves. So b, our y-intercept, I don't know why we use the letter b for y-intercept, but that's what we use. That is where our line, our line, crosses the y-axis, the line that goes up and down. So just look for where they intersect. There it is. Where is that? Well, obviously, um, it's somewhere between 0 and 5. Let's take a look at these tech marks. I'm going to guess they're worth 1. Let me check if I'm right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, well, negative 5. So I am definitely at negative 1. It has got to be either A or B. So let me cross off C and D. Okay, now A and B, uh, the only thing holding me back is the slope. Now remember that slope is a ratio of rise over run. So start from any point on your graph. I'll start at that same y-intercept. It doesn't really matter. And let's test this first rise over run. If I rise 2, 1, 2, and I run 3, 1, 2, 3, am I still on my line? Well, heck yeah, I am. Okay, let's try the other one, though. You say, well, what about 3 halves? Let's imagine that we had started again at any point on the line. Let me pick a different color. And rows 3, 1, 2, 3, and ran 2, 1, 2. Uh-oh, I'm not on my line. I am off my line. Um, and so this is not the slope of this line. Do you see what I mean by being on the line? See how my arrow here got back onto the blue line? But here I did not. Okay, so the correct answer here is A. Y is equal to 2 thirds X minus 1. All right, definitely, definitely you will see graphs and equations of lines on your GED, just period. Um, so uh, really a good concept to review. Uh, by the way, this is one of those concepts that's easy to learn, easy to forget. Uh, the problem with things that are easy to learn, especially con you know, conceptual things like this weird formula Y equals MX plus B, it, they're really easy to forget as well. So I suggest you stay tuned for the series of videos we're going to be doing on this. I got seven more coming and you practice this skill. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math concept, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.